In this class, we will try to solve this problem. Let us try to understand this problem. It is being saying that there is a magnetic field given by this expression which is being traveling in a non-magnetic medium. What is being asked is we have to conclude the direction of propagation and we have to find the dielectric constant and the intrinsic impedance. So, how I can solve this problem? If I look at the problem and compare the magnetic field with the basic magnetic field equation which we have seen in the previous class, let us compare that. My basic magnetic field equation is h vector is nothing but h naught e to the power minus alpha z cos omega t minus beta z which was a y cap. Remember this was the basic equation which we have discussed in the previous videos. Now if I compare this over this let us conclude what I am getting. So can I say that h naught comparing these two equation is 0.5 right. Now can I say that omega is equal to this. So my omega would be nothing but 6 pi into 10 to the power 8. Can I say that my beta is equal to 10? Now, if you observe the standard wave equation, it is being saying that this field is propagating in a plus z direction. Whenever remember, whenever it is minus beta z, it is propagating in plus z direction, right? So, in this case, can I say that it is minus 10 x, can I say that it is propagating in plus x direction, right? And the variation of magnetic field for this field, it is along the y axis. So, for the variation of magnetic field for the given question, it is along the z axis, right? So, we have concluded the first part of the question. The propagation, the direction of the wave propagation is nothing but along the plus x axis, right? So, let us write that. So, direction of propagation is along plus x axis, plus x direction, right? So, we have concluded. One more finding if you can compare, here we have e to the power minus alpha z but here we do not have anything. This is the only possible when your alpha is 0, right? Because e to the power 0 is 1. It means we are talking about alpha is equal to 0. And when your alpha is 0, alpha is only 0 when we are talking about a lossless medium, right? We have already seen this in previous videos. So, we are talking about a lossless medium. So, as we have already concluded the first part of the question, the wave is propagating in along the plus x direction. Let us solve the second part of the question. For the time being, we will rub this. So, the next part of the question is saying that we have to find the dielectric constant. If you remember, for a plane wave traveling in any medium, we have already find it out the beta, right? What is the beta for that plane wave? In a lossless medium, it comes out to be omega root under mu epsilon, right? So, if I simplify this, it will become omega mu naught mu r epsilon naught epsilon r, right? Now, we are talking about a non-magnetic medium. Remember, the question itself says the non-magnetic medium. So, my mu r would be 1, right? We are talking about non-magnetic medium. So, relative permeability would be 1, right? Now, so, if I substitute here, it would be, what is omega? We already have concluded omega. Omega is nothing but 6 pi into 10 power 8. So, it would be 6 pi into 10 to the power 8 mu naught, mu r is 1, mu naught dot epsilon r, right? If I simplify further, can I say that it is 6 pi into 10 to the power 8 mu naught epsilon naught, right? Let me write in this way. I have just simplified the same equation. Now, mu naught by epsilon naught is nothing but we know that 1 by just for an information, it is a kind of a note, 1 by root over mu naught epsilon naught is equal to C. 
we're gonna see this in the future videos so i'm gonna take that so this will be nothing but 6 pi into 10 to the power 8 by c right c is nothing but your the speed which light travels which is nothing but 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second right this is the velocity of light we all know that so we're gonna substitute here into epsilon r so let's solve this so it would be 6 pi into 10 to the power 8 what is the velocity of light we already have seen that 3 into 10 to the power 8 right root over mu r is equal to beta right because what we are comparing is about the beta equation so if i simplify it will be nothing but it would be 2 pi right so what would be epsilon r epsilon r would be nothing but beta by 2 pi what is beta we have already concluded beta is nothing but in the general equation it is cos omega t minus beta z so beta is 10 we have already written that so beta is 10 so beta is 10 by 2 pi so this comes out to be 5 by pi if i solve this would be nothing but 1.59 right but we have to find the epsilon r right so we have to find the dielectric constant so we have to do the squaring on both sides so epsilon r comes out to if you square on both sides what you wanna get is 2.53 so we have to find we have already find it out the dielectric constant for which comes out to be 2.53 now the second part of the question says that for the same question we have to find the intrinsic impedance of the medium right so we have to find the intrinsic impedance let's see how i can find the intrinsic impedance let me rub this intrinsic impedance if you remember for a wave traveling in a lossless medium is given by mu by epsilon right so if i simplify further it will become mu naught mu r by epsilon naught epsilon r right so mu r is one we have already discussed right because non-magnetic medium so it will be mu naught by epsilon naught into 1 by root over epsilon r i can do in this way you know that mu naught by epsilon naught we have already discussed in the previous video this comes out to be either 120 pi or 377 ohm right when a wave traveling in a in a free space the impedance offered to the in that medium comes out to be 377 ohm or 120 pi so what i'm going to substitute is 120 pi divided by root epsilon r we already have a root epsilon r value right root epsilon r we have already concluded which is nothing but 1.59 let's substitute here so this comes out to be 120 pi divided by 1.59 right so we have to just conclude the answer this answer comes out to be 237.10 and this is an impedance right so the unit has to be ohm so we have also find it out the intrinsic impedance for this problem We'll see more on this in the next videos.